Hi everybody, I'm Kalani Das. Welcome to this quick tutorial on setting up your paddle base for play. I'm going to be talking about how to tune it out of the box, how to use the fret guides, and basically how to play any music you want on the paddle bass, which is probably the easiest, smallest, best sounding electric bass instrument you can get your hands on. It is an acoustic instrument, um, or acoustically played instrument, it's not a synthesizer. It does need an amp, or you need to plug it into something to hear the sound. Uh, so I've got it plugged into an amp. It sounds like that. Out of the box, what you'll want to do is first determine which of the fret markers you want to use. And there are three of them. They're made to be played with E as the low note, F as the low note, and G as your low open string. So any of those open strings, I'm going to recommend that you start off with the F because it is most universal to a lot of different keys. And of course, our most popular keys that we play, and especially with the ukulele, namely the key of C, also the key of F, key of G. Those are our main keys we're playing ukulele. So I would start off with the F fret guide. If it's not already on the instrument, just uh, find it. Take, take the one out if it's not in your instrument. These are magnetic strips, and they're very easy to insert on the neck. So just slide it in, make sure it's all the way down towards the head, and slide it right on. It's as easy as that. Uh, I have a little nail here that you can use to remove it, but you can use a, a pen or something. Just slide uh, the string out of the way, and then catch it at the end right here by the head, by the nut. So the first thing you want to do is make sure it's in tune. So the fret guide that starts with a G, and notice that the fret um, marker areas are wider, closer to the end that goes towards the nut. So don't flip it around. Like most instruments, the frets get closer together as you get towards the bridge. So you want it to be like this. We're going to tune the low open string to an F, because this is the first fret, which is G. But our open string, of course, would be a step below that. This is a diatonic fret, fret uh, guide. So I've already pre-tuned this. It's a little sharp. I can actually, if you just give it a little stretch, sometimes it'll lower it. Okay, but we're going to call this close enough for jazz, right? That's pretty much right on F now. Um, so now that my F is in tune, I can go ahead and play any of these notes. And these are the scale notes that I will get if I press in the area. And you don't have to press anywhere specifically, just kind of right on the colored area. So this gives me all the diatonic notes in the key of F, which include the most common chords that are played on ukuleles, especially C, D minor, uh, A minor, G, major, seven, minor, A, B flat, uh, E minor, perhaps, and of course, F. So, so, one of the questions I get asked is, well, if I have this F fret guide, does that mean I can't play in the key of C? Well, of course not. Uh, it's just oriented towards the diatonic scale, the F diatonic scale, uh, which has B flat in it, which is probably more common than B minor or B7 uh, in a lot of songs. We end up playing B flat a lot. But if you want to play B, a B7 chord, a B minor chord, any, any B chord, it's right here, right in between B flat and C. This is a fretless instrument, so all of the notes are always available to you at any time. So don't feel like you're limited just because you're using a particular fret guide. The fret guides are oriented towards certain scales. They're not limited to those scales. So if I want a B, it's right there. If you want to change the fret guide, you just pop it out, move the string, pop out the fret guide. You've got two other choices. We put one um, so that you can play easily with E as the, as the low note. I'm not going to actually install this and retune right now, just to show you. So F sharp would be your first fretted note, and then up the scale, this is all the key of E. And then we've got one that would be for the key of G as the low note. So you would retune the instrument. 
you would tune the low open note to a G or an E, whichever fret guide you want to use, and now we've got these notes available. I recommend, for most play, just leave the, um, the fret marker that starts with G, and that's going to be your F open note. And that, again, is going to give you a quick access to the most common chord um, roots, which are, again, C. You can play in the key of C. G, A minor. Uh, F, certainly. All the main chords. And then if you need a chromatic chord, if you need to play a... F sharp or G flat, it's right there. So it is a chromatic instrument, uh, but we, we use the boom micro colors to make it quick and easy to find the notes, and notice that the letter names are oriented to both directions, so you can play this right-handed, left-handed, you can share it with somebody playing, uh, place it on your lap, place it on the floor, play it like a regular bass with a strap, a uh, lot of ways to access this instrument. So that should get you going right out of the box. Uh, I'm Kalani Das. If you have any other questions, you can find me through KalaniMusic.com. And I hope you enjoy playing your paddle bass. Go lots of places in your musical adventures and make good music with your friends and your colleagues and share music in any way uh, you can and with every opportunity you get. Thanks for watching. Enjoy playing your paddle bass.